Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla Fahey Arndt and I love to share about planning, mindset, organization, and career slash leadership on this channel. And if you've been watching lately, you know I just came out with a fall digital planner and I'm excited because I just released the OneNote version. And so if you're looking at my channel, I have the video right here and I also just posted on the community page that actually per someone's request, I do now have a Sunday start. So there's a both a Monday and a Sunday start available. So in a previous video, I have showed you how to import um, or create OneNote digital planners without importing a huge um, PDF file. And essentially what I've showed you is just importing PNGs. So instead of importing like a very large um, PDF, you would just um, import a PNG instead. And so I basically show you how to create my leader standard workbook by going in and inserting PNGs to create different sections in your notebook and add different layouts. So that's what I show in this video. So since doing this video, I've actually found what I think is a better way when you want to purchase somebody's digital planner. And so I have created um, a downloadable OneNote template that you can plop right into your OneNote for this fall planner. So if you want to learn more about the fall planner before we dive into how to download it, the download instructions, there is a fall planner playlist and all the videos are here so you can check them out and see everything and check out what it looks like and know what you're purchasing. All right. So right now it's listed on Etsy. I'm working on listing up on my website eventually, but you can click through and you'll see it here. The instructions on the website say that you'll get a digital PDF file when you purchase this. So if you purchase from Etsy, it sends you an email saying your files are ready for download. You go to that and my tip for you is to go on your computer and download those files and usually the browser works so much better. Um, this is the back end of Etsy if you haven't ever seen it and when you um, upload a product for sale, you can attach digital files here. So when you download the file, it's going to be actually an instructions page for you. So you'll just follow the instructions. So pro tip, I have the instructions um, open in many tabs here because once you start clicking these tabs, it's going to like not open in a new window. So um, yeah, when I created it, it didn't allow me to make that an option. So that's a pro tip. So thank you so much for your purchase and then how to connect with me via YouTube, my newsletter and tagging me on Instagram. With any issues, you can email me and then download your planner. So your OneNote digital planner is going to be able to sync across all your devices. That is the beauty of OneNote. That's why we love using it. But the first thing we got to do is import it and we want to do that on the computer or laptop. So if you're trying to download this on a tablet or an iPad, it won't work. So definitely make sure you have access to a computer or a laptop. Even if you have to go to the library just to import it in, that'll be good enough. All right, so the first thing you do to access your download file, you want to click the link and you'll be taken, see how it opened? <laughs> you'll be taking it to this page. It's a Google Drive. And so I'm including both a Monday start and a Sunday start option for you because I know people like different things and everybody has their own preferences. So the instructions show that you're going to see this. This is what we saw a box with a like an arrow. This is a zip file. You do not want to unzip it because we're going to do that later. So if you unzip it now, it won't work. What you want to do is click on the file and then right click and hit download or um, so that'd be like this or there's like three dots on the top, right? You can click download there. If your screen looks like this, where it's opening kind of this, in this black screen, there's always an arrow with a tray that you can click. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to show you guys the Sunday start. So I'm going to click on it, right click on it and hit download. All right. So my computer is scanning for viruses. That shouldn't take too long and it's going to download. So let's look at the, um, oh, it's, it's happening. It's super quick. Let's look at the instructions to anticipate the next step while it downloads. So the next step is going to be to unzip the file. So once the file is downloaded, I'm just going to open it in my downloads file. So if you're in Windows to unzip it, you'll do extract all. On a Mac, you'll just double click the file to open it. So uh, let's 
it's almost done here, so I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to go to my downloads, actually, and go here. All right, so here it is, and I'm going to right-click and hit Extract All, and then I get to save it, basically decide, like, where do I want this to stay, and it's just going to be in my downloads. So I'm going to hit Extract. All right, so then it's there. So the next thing is to log into OneNote. So click here, I have it linked for you. If you don't have an account, it's super easy. All you do is put in uh, your email and create a password. It takes just a couple minutes. Otherwise, um, I'm usually signed into my OneNote, so it's just gonna take me here signed in. If I was signed out, I would just have to log in. And I don't actually have that planner saved in here. I have some versions, but I don't have the Sunday start in here, so that's good. All right. So let's get to our next step here. So once you have, once you're logged into OneNote, this will allow the planner to import right into your OneNote. So make sure you're logged in. You can't skip that step. Then you can visit this website. And I'm just going to open this into a new tab. So it's going to allow you to import a saved notebook. So you want to click the import button, which is right here. So we're going to do import. And then basically I'm just going to... Um, click on the file that I want to import, and that's what the instructions say. So let's click just reference our instructions. Click on the file that you want to import and click open or um, upload. Once the files upload, you'll get a message that displays that says like a check mark, and you can click view notebook. So we're going to do that really quick. Oh, I guess I already hit save. So save your notebook content to OneDrive. So now it's thinking. Mm -hmm. Looks like I got to fix this really quick. <laughs> but essentially, this is just telling you like what should happen. So if you're in your browser, the notebook should just open right up. And I'm going to show you if you have multiple notebooks open in OneNote, you might have to click the three line symbol to view more notebooks. Um, if you're in the application, you, it should open up as well. But again, you might have to view more notebooks. If you're on a Mac, you would just click File, Open, and then select your planner. So, still thinking here. This could take several minutes, so um, I'll probably edit some of this. But just to show you what my um, OneNote looks like. So, when I when this is able to import, like whenever it's complete... It might, um, it'll probably show it here in the list um, if it actually opens one of these notebooks. So let's just take a look at, um, so if this just happens to be open when um, I am importing the other one, you might have to click this arrow and then it'll show you all the notebooks and then this is where you can click more notebooks to, um, to view yours. So like if I click more, then it's going to give me the list and I can select it. So what is going to happen now? All right. So now it says import save notebook. So I can click view notebook. And that took probably two minutes. I restarted the download because I just wasn't sure if it was going and still it was super quick. So now it just, bam, it opened right up. You can see it was thinking. It was like, there it is. So now the fall planner is here for you. So I have the cover page here. I've got the fall love, like the inspiration page. And as you see, I'm clicking these menus. It's just going to take a few seconds for everything to load because it's the first time that the notebook is opening. So just give it a moment. It'll kind of show like purple and the templates will be kind of coming to life. Um, but yeah, it's, it's because it's the first time. So you got the fall feels mood board and the templates. So I have a template section in here for you so that if you want to add a gratitudes page or a notes or a savings tracker page, you, are, you totally can. And um, again, I'm in the OneNote in the browser. It's going to look so much, um, not so much different, but it's just going to look a little more smooth when you're on your tablet. But again, you can use this in the browser. You can use this in the app. Um, I'm trying to think if I can open this in the app on my computer. There we go. So edit in desktop app. So yeah, if you click that, you can click open in the app and I'll just show you what that looks like. So I actually have the other vertical version. So there is a horizontal and a vertical version available for you. 
Um, and so, um, but the vertical one is just good notes. So I started to create vertical for OneNote and then I thought, I just really like the horizontal style so much better in OneNote. So, all right, so here we go. Here's, this is the app. So now we have August. So August, everything is imported for you. I didn't go ahead and, you know, say, okay, this is, you know, I just said here are the templates essentially. Um, but you can see for September, I actually, in October and November, I broke down all of the weeks. So for example, I was like, okay, here's the monthly calendar, Sunday through Saturday start the week of the 28th of, starting with the 28th of August through the end of that week, the week of the 4th, the week of the 18th. And you can see um, this guy got moved. Let me just pop him over, no big deal. There you go, it's so cute. And it's all set up for you. So you've got the gratitude and affirmations pages, the notes and the savings tracker. Here's October. It's so much faster than having to add all these PNGs. It literally takes just a few minutes for you to essentially import this file by downloading using my instructions. So I just wanted to show you kind of the behind the scenes. And sorry, this is really my first time tutorialing, <laughs> giving a tutorial on this. Um, but I'm really excited and happy with how it turned out and just excited to know that you can literally add a file to your OneNote and download to your OneNote. Um, and then you can just download the templates and it'll save here and it saves you so much time. So I hope that helped and that you enjoyed this. If you like this video and it was helpful, please like and don't forget to subscribe and definitely check out the fall planner playlist to learn more. And if you're interested in purchasing, I hope the um, instruction sheet helps you and follow me on Instagram for more um, ways to use the planner. I'll be showing how I use it and I would love to see how you um, use your planner and see all your spreads. So it's at KFA Consulting. So um, go ahead and follow me there. I'm really trying to grow that page. I just started it earlier this year and so um, it's still small, but we're going. So come over there and check it out. All right, everybody take care and we'll see you in the next one.